Well, no, that's right. But I think we also need to not, not have any illusions about the nature of Hamas, about yep. the nature of the Hamas charter, that it is um, follows the Islamic rules of war, which talks about uh, Hudna treaties, which is that any treaty is only for temporary advantage, and it is never to actually make peace with your enemy. So let's just remember, going to Rowan's point about Hamas, it must be taken out, and it must be taken out uh, ruthlessly, because otherwise that will continue to, to, to occur. Well, but the other thing, too, though, the other issue, though, is that you also need to deal with the funding uh, for where it comes from, and that is Iran. Uh, yeah. And that is the Biden administration. The Biden administration has enabled and empowered, as did the Obama administration before it, Iran and Iran's growth as a serious regional power and terrorist player in the Middle East and around the world. And until that is dealt with, you know, you're not going to see this sort of behavior stop. Oh, of course. And the Israeli Defense Forces are correct that the only reason it's not, uh, you know, some kind of gentleman's agreement in World War I to stop fighting during the trenches or whatever, the only reason Hamas are releasing these hostages, let's be crystal clear, is because... They are scared because of the degree of force that the Israeli Defence Forces are, are hammering down on Hamas. We saw the hospital. Uh, we had all the left for, for weeks now saying, oh, no, 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 Hamas don't put any uh, tunnels or weapons under hospitals. Well, they've now exposed that the main hospital there, Al-Shifa, was, of course, uh, the centre hold uh, cent for the fortress, if you like, for Hamas with the weapons stockpiled, tunnels, a whole system underneath. And it is critical that Israel finishes the job and destroys Hamas. That has to be the primary goal, Rita. Well, it does. And we keep seeing atrocities in Gaza committed by Hamas against their own people even now, even in the midst of a war. Precisely. There's footage that's emerged of two men who were accused of being uh, spies, being collaborating with, with uh, Israel. Who knows if there's any truth to that, but of course they were killed, their bodies hung up uh, with crowds uh, gathered, cheering, cheering filming going, it. Barbaric so, scenes. And this is what I don't understand. We had the protest, student protest in Sydney on Friday, Melbourne in, um, Thursday. Nothing there about let's free the Palestinian people from Hamas, let's get rid of this genocidal, hideous. <laughs> A terror outfit that has just inflicted such suffering on so many people. There's yeah. none of that. I mean, how can these kids who are u being allowed to be used as, a, as, as useful idiots of the activist class not even get that message across? Well, that Rita, well, it, Rita, it's Rita, it is simple. child abuse. I'll be going into that in, in shortly. It is child abuse, James. But let's, let's go back... Sorry. No, on. I was just going to say that... You know, Rita, you ask a very good question. How is it that people look at this footage? They look at people holding up their iPhones to record a lynching like it's a Taylor Swift concert. And how do people look at this and think, you know, this is wonderful and what's happening with young people? And, you know, people don't understand how for decades now the schools, the academies, the universities have been shot through with a... Mm ideology that celebrates revolutionary violence. So for these guys who have been infected with this way of thinking, they look at Hamas and they think, this is great. This what? is liberation. This is, you know, what some academics and professors were tweeting. This is what decolonization exactly. looks like. They actually, for them, the violence, the brutality is a feature. It's not a bug. And that's the really scary thing. How do we almost deprogram you know, this whole generation that has been infected with this idea, because I'll tell you what, it's not going to stop in Israel. It's not going to stop at Gaza. It is going to be everywhere. We saw it in, in New York overnight. There was horrendous footage where a teacher in Queens had been revealed to have been at a pro-Israel protest. The students held a riot. 25 police had to protect her in a classroom She was from hiding getting in a locker. Yeah. She was hiding yeah. in a locker. Yeah. I mean, it, and it again shows you, because we didn't see marches in the streets of, of Melbourne or Sydney or London or New York when uh, Muslims were being slaughtered in Yemen or in Syria. Syria. If you can't blame it on, on West, on the West, if you can't blame it on Jews, 
they're not interested. So it's part of this Absolutely. dogma. And, this and, and, this, is and a, a, this is a failure of political leadership, Rita. Mm. And we've been talking... You've been talking about it on the <coughs> show, we've been talking about it on all these shows for years about the corruption of the education system and uh, the fact that successive governments, Liberal and Labor, have done nothing to clean out uh, the, the grotesque neo-Marxist world of academia, which our kids are being put through. 